Migrating an existing website to a new hosting can be a daunting task. But in today's age of AI or vibe coding, it shouldn't be. And the good news is that this is super simple and easy to do. Anybody should be able to do this super simple and easily. And that's why in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily migrate your website, your existing website, WordPress website, to Ostinger. When you use an hosting provider like Ostinger, you find this process extremely easy. And the truth is, Ostinga have you in mind when they are setting up. They know that there will be someone like you who is not techy, who would just love to find the idea of migrating your website a lot easier. And let me show you exactly how these work. So right on my screen here is Ostinga.com. I will leave the link to Ostinga in the video description. You can check it out. It will give you an amazing deal. That's just if you are still in the process of investing in Ostinga. Because if you come to the website here, you will see that you have three months free. And you are qualified for that when you use my link. Also, you will see a coupon code in the video description there that will still give you an amazing 10% off. And that's quite very fantastic. So if you come to your plan here, a premium hosting is always very good. But if you have more to spare, their business plan would give you amazing server resources. Uh, because we are trying to minimize resources, let's go with premium plan. And that will bring us here where we need to choose the duration of our hosting plan. By default here is stick to 48 months. And you'll see that instead of you paying 575 US dollars, you are getting 75% off and that is $432 off. So you're supposed to pay $143 US dollars, 52 cents. You are going to get a free domain for one year and three months literally for free. And like I told you, I have my coupon code. It's called DAPS. You can type that in here and apply that. And you will see that you get a 10% off again, which is $14.35. So you are qualified to pay $129.17. Amazing. For a 51 month plan because you are getting three months literally for free. Uh, so if you say that's too much and you want to reduce maybe to a 24 month plan, you can see you won't be getting the three month extra. That's the not a good part. But you will get a free domain for one year. And then you can see that you can get this for as low as that's $75.08. That's amazing, right? You can still go as low as 12 months a plan. And that's the least I would recommend. Never think about your monthly plan. And you can see that with just $43.09, you are able to have access to this for a full 12 months and that's fantastic you also get a free domain for one year awesome and this is the reason why i'm telling you never to consider a monthly plan so if you come to a one month plan just wait and see that you would see that you are paying literally 17 dollars a month just to have access to this plan for one month that's crazy money I would never recommend that. I would recommend you go to the 48-month plan if you have so much so to spare. Trust me, that's always my recommendation. So when you are done selecting your duration, you can just come here and hit the continue button. And here you'll be asked to register. You can provide your email address and your password. And after you create an account, you'll be required to check out. Once you create an account and you check out, you would be brought to an onboarding process like this. And there it will say, Hello, who is this website for? You will say, this is for myself or this is for someone else. Whatever it is, uh, you can choose that. But I will just say this is for myself and for my business. So I'll go to the next button. Uh, do you want to create or migrate a website? Note that in the beginning, this tutorial is to help you migrate your website. And anybody who doesn't really know how things work today would normally want to go the route of migrate a website. Or oh, I will have someone to help me. But let me show you how super simple and easy this is by just clicking the create a website. So we go next. And from there, it's asking you, do you want to do hosting a website builder or you want to do WordPress? For this tutorial, let's stick to WordPress. And then let's go next. What you just need to do here is to provide your WordPress account details. Just use a, an email and a password you are very comfortable with, you can remember. And then you hit the next button. 
thing here is for us to easily jump on templates here. Some of them are really premium, but you remember we are trying to migrate our website. So let's just create a blank website. Uh, this is where we get to choose a free domain name for our website. So like I told you, we have access to using a free domain for one year. So now I will just type in any domain name that I'm comfortable with. And after selecting this, you can see that this is free. So I can select this to use for one year. And then I will click the next. And then confirm your details. Since I have my details already with Ostinga, it will preload them here. All I just need to do is hit the finish registration button. And then you can see finishing your domain registration. Uh, just a few moments, your WordPress website is set up. In your case here, you might not need to claim a free domain because you are trying to migrate to your website. You can just use a temporary domain. So right, the next thing here is for us to choose a server location. You choose a server location that is closest to your location. In my case here, I will just choose the United States and then I will install WordPress. So while WordPress is installing here, you want to go to your existing domain that you want to migrate to hosting, right? So uh, in my case here, I need to open that up. I have the domain name already opened up in here. So what you want to do is for you to come to the back end of this website. You want to come to plugins because we'll be adding the plugin to literally just push this domain name to Ostinger, right? Super simple and easy. So now let's come to plugins. And from here, we'll be needing the plugin called WPVV Backup Plugin. I already have that plugin installed here. In your case, you just want to come to add a new plugin and then you want to search for WPVV. And that's the plugin here. You're going to just install and activate it. In my case, I already have that activated. So now let's come to WPVV here and let's come to uh, backup and restore. And from here, what we want to do is to come to key. We want to come to key here and let's generate a key and then let's copy this key. Very, very important. So let's come back here. Let's see. Already, you can see we already have a domain name set here for us to use. And the good thing is that this domain name by default here is still using a temporary domain name. And that's beautiful. So what we want to do from here is just to come to plugins. We want to come to add new plugin because we want to install the same plugin called WP Vivid. And now let's install this plugin and let's activate it as well. So right now we'll come to auto migration and then we paste our key here and then we hit save. It says connection is okay. I can transfer this domain to this domain. I think I made a mistake there, sorry. Uh, I should just get the key from here. Uh, let's generate a key. It should be the other way around, not like this. So I'll copy this and then I come back here and then I come to auto migration. I paste the key here. Either way is fine because you can transfer both to each other. But this is the way it should have been. So now I can hit the save button. So you can see I can now transfer my existing domain name to my temporary domain name in Nostinga. So right now what I, what I want to do is to just hit the clone then transfer. That's it. That's everything we need to do to migrate our website from here to hosting a oh, super awesome is this. So this might take some few minutes. So let's give this time to finish up. Okay, so after some few minutes, the process is completed and this can take long depending on how heavy your website is. So you have to bear that in mind. So you can see here, backup successful and that's good. So that's everything we want to do from here. So let's come back right now to our website here and then let's come to backup and restore. So if you come here, you can see that there is nothing here. But if you click this scan upload backup or received backup, so you can see we have received a backup here. And everything we want to do to have a former website now on Ostinga is just for us to hit the restore button. And then we would hit the restore button again. And there will be a prompt like this. We'll hit OK. And then you can see this is restoring our website. So 
Ideally, I would expect that you keep this tab open because you don't want to switch to new tab so that you don't corrupt this process. This is very, very important. As you can see here, it's over 20% already gone. This will be done in some few seconds. Awesome. So we can see restoration completed successfully and we want to hit the OK button. But before we do that, this will log us out. So we would need to sign in back with our credentials on our former website. That's very important. So once we click the OK button, as usual, sign us out. Uh, but you can just go ahead right now to view your website in front end to see that everything is loading as should. Uh, this is beautiful, exactly what I want to see. So right now I can log in back. I'm back right now and I now have my old WordPress here. Uh, mind you, my website will still be here on my former domain. So now in your case, if you are trying to really do migrate, this is where you want to maybe save this backup, delete this website, and then point your domain name to Ostinger. Give it time for it to uh, propagate across the world. You can also find your name servers on your Ostinger dashboard. Or is default it's just DNS packing. Uh, I would leave that in the video description for you to just maybe just copy and paste and change your name servers. But coming back here, so you can see this is the domain name I registered here. I can just literally just copy this domain name here and then I can come back here. I can just paste it and let's just see the magic. <laughs> you can see just like that, I've been able to migrate these to my website. I don't think migrating your website to Hostinga can be any easier than this. You can literally do it in five to 10 minutes. And that's my time for this tutorial. I believe you can see how super simple and easy it is for you to migrate your website to Hostinga. So what are you waiting for? The link to Hostinga is in the video description. The link, the name servers are in the video description. So what are you waiting for? grab the link and migrate your website right now and i wish you all the best i'll see you in another tutorial and until then stay safe